Oh, dear God. <laughs> High school is a brilliant setting for a comedy because you have so many different groups of people that you have these awesome stock stereotypical groups of people and everyone thinks they're the best and everyone thinks everyone else is horrible and awful. The nature of it is that they're at odds with one another. <laughs> so, I mean, right there, you just have conflict. You know? <laughs> it's true. And part of being in this group is being against that group. Immediate conflict. I mean, have you seen Mean Girls? Which is funny. Hello. The guys are in completely different hormonal zones than the girls are. You can't get any more stupid than high school girls. Because we do the dumbest things in high school. There's so many life-changing experiences happening. I mean, besides the fact that your body is changing, your mind is changing. The girls become women like that. And then the guys are still like, Ugh. I know, I experimented with color and bleaching my hair. And now when I look back on it, you're just kind of crazy. From 15 to 18, girls are just kind of stupid. Everyone's hormones are freaking out. And that, I think, is comedy. It's just so funny, the things that you do without thinking or thinking that you know what you're doing and that it looks okay and then you come back and you're going, huh, why did I do that? So I think that's the perfect place to set a comedy because you could go either way. It could be comedy or drama. Either way, those girls are right there. The things that you say or the ideas that you have, saving the world. Um... Because it's the best and worst time of your life. I went to school in the 80s and 90s, so we used Aquanet, which was like the ozone destroyer, ozone layer destroyer. You're so stupid as a girl when you're in high school that that's the perfect place to put comedy. Because our hair was so high, you had to use it. But we had one girl that was gonna save the world so we could not use Aquanet. Everything happens in high school. You go through everything in high school. You have all these different types of characters. There's drama and... Then you've got the really cool guys. Hormones are raging and you know, like there's millions of things that happen in high school and you just look fondly on those days. Everything gets messed up. Then you got the guys who think they're cool. I mean, it's just... It's the perfect setting. The kids are crazy. The teachers are... Compl I mean, teachers alone should have their own reality shows. I mean, high school, it's, it's like very interesting and... I remember being in a class thinking, a long time ago, before there were reality shows, just thinking, wow, all the personalities in here, we should have our own show. There's a lot of different people, so you have like a lot of different types of personalities. If you had one, you know, one person type, and you know, one type in the whole class, you know, filling the class, it was awesome, you know. Just crazy. I mean, you're there to learn, but at the same time, you have all your friends. And then there's me toting guns at school. There's a good episode right there. Like sometimes you like a boy and he doesn't like you, and then all your friends say something bad about you because they know that you like him. <laughs> they make fun of you because because you're bigger than they are, or you can you're stronger than them, or maybe. Like in my case, you're a better actress. So I think I think high school's good for comedy because high school's funny. Everyone's trying to figure out who they want to be and how they want to be identified, and that's funny to me. That's comedy. In all honesty, I know people think Pony Pony's a little far fetched, but I think it's pretty close to what high school's like for a teenage girl. Um. was really a moment, but I was never asked to any of the dances. <laughs> so many. Most embarrassing moment in high school, I kid you not. It was the first day that I decided I wanted to wear high heels to school. I wanted to be a little sexy. First day of school, I, you know, you're in this big school, you're the shortest person, and you're a freshman, and you're walking around. <clears throat> I guess it had been raining or something, I don't remember, uh, but I was wearing too high of heels, and I walked right into the boys' bathroom to use it, but I thought I looked <laughs> awesome, and stood there looking at urinals, wondering why they were in the women's bathroom. So the bus is unloaded, and we walked inside to the entrance to the school. But I didn't leave. I just stood there because I didn't understand. <laughs> and of course, it was a really slick ground, and there was a giant puddle. And then a boy walked in. And so here was my first day wearing high heels, and boom. It was terrible. And I turned around and walked out. That's a nightmare. No one really saw me walk out the door, but that guy did. And I don't think he told anyone, but it was pretty embarrassing. It scarred me a little bit. It hurt. 
a little bit. There's one that nobody knows about, but it was the most embarrassing for me. Oh, God. Oh, I'm about to actually say this. You ready? This is kind of gross. We, right before we moved to Hamilton, my dad took me to this um, athletic banquet, the end of the year athletic banquet, so that I could meet everybody. When I was in junior high, okay, eighth grade, so it's almost high school. I have lots of embarrassing stories, but this one's really good. Which is kind of funny because I'm not an athlete. <laughs> but I was gonna go meet the athletes and, and all the people, because it's small schools, you know. And, and it was the day before, uh, like a spring break kind of a thing. So I made this trip with him, and I had to sit at the front of the room with him. And you know how they um, they gather the classes for like parties and things like that right before a break like that? At this big, there's the banquet table and everybody else sits out here. So they're looking at you the whole time. My friends had tried to get me to eat at lunch and I wasn't feeling well because I was, you know, upset. So I'm the new girl, the coach's kid, new coach's girl sitting there beside him with all these people looking at me, surrounded by teachers and other coaches and whatnot. So I'm just eating my thing. Well, halfway through the presentation, which was inordinately long, I'm sitting in a desk like this, and I'm sitting like towards the back of the class, and there's three classes in there, and two, two rows ahead of me is Troy, Troy Gambino, maybe? I think that was his last name. And I had a big crush on him, right? Okay, picture this. He's two desks ahead of me. I'm right here. And all of a sudden, I have got to go to the bathroom. Well, for some reason in school, you don't want anybody to know you ever have a bodily function. I don't know what that's about, but it's like, you just don't want anyone to know you ever pee. You just don't even say it. And pooping, forget it. So, I puke. <laughs> I sat there and I sat there and my eyes started watering and I was squeezing and squeezing and just trying to hold out and hold out. Okay, I puke on my desk like this, right? But I'm pretending that I did it. <laughs> Rather than get up, just get up and walk out the door and go to the bathroom. I sit there and sit there and sit there and finally I just let it go. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm just like this, right? Hoping that it doesn't go anywhere and nobody notices or smells a thing. <laughs> so I'm sitting there looking like <laughs> just letting it go. And I'm like, okay. No, I'm sitting in it. So then about two seconds later, right in front of Troy, stands up Dina Shoemaker and says, Leslie just threw up. I sort of got up and pushed my chair in and hung out next to the wall and told my dad I was gonna go to the truck for a little bit and go ahead and change. And everyone got up and ran out of the room. And I just scooted out and changed my clothes and threw the dress away and never spoke of it. It was mortifying. But I thought, you know, some poor janitor is going to go along and they're going to be stacking chairs in about two hours and they're going to go, oh, what happened? It's quite dramatic <laughs> with the running and the shouting and the puke. <laughs> and that's um, pretty embarrassing now. <laughs> Dude, I was like this. Um, that didn't happen until college. Um, <laughs> my first lesbian experience was actually at ADV. <laughs> <laughs> what? First lesbian experience? Huh. <laughs> um, that wasn't high school. I kid you not, there was a female in my drama club. What? And she had a kid, too. But she said, she said some nasty things to me. And she invited me to join one of her experiences, and I said, My parents won't be watching this. <laughs> she pulled me aside and she said, Serena, if you ever want to experience any... <laughs> she, she honestly said this, and I didn't know what to say to her. I just said, um, okay, um, <laughs> thanks, I'll call you. <laughs> You got me last time. I knew better now. And that was the first time ever. I was like totally blown away. You know, I'm like innocent kid here and I heard about some things that she did. Huh. I will never forget that because that was the first time ever. Oh, this better not be edited to the point where...